one area of research concerns our careers. There's a fascinating stream of research called derailment that looks at people who are full of potential, lots of promise, tremendous talent, and for whatever reason, they get into their profession, their field of work, and they don't make it. They derail for some reason. And study after study, year after year, industry after industry, one of the top themes that comes out that explains derailment is an inability to connect with other people and deal with differences. So the good fight matters to our careers. Other work has looked at the topic of leadership. Some research that I've done with my collaborator, Frank Flynn, we've looked at what do the people around young developing professionals and senior executives say about them? What's holding them back? What do they need to work on to be better? And regularly, we find that the most common thing the people around them say is they need to be able to deal with differences better. They need to be able to have a better fight. Other scholars have looked at the effect on teamwork. And the good fight matters here as well. Angry shouting matches are not very effective for team functioning. But neither is a climate of fear where people silence themselves, hold back their ideas, sugarcoat their criticism. So conflict matters to our professional lives. What about our personal lives? Well, it's important here as well. Over the last few decades, scholars like John Gottman have looked at what makes for happy couples. And one of the leading predictors, if not the leading predictor, of relationship satisfaction for married couples over decades is their ability to have a good fight. One last area I'll just note briefly, our health. There's abundant evidence that conflict and our ability to have good conflicts matters to our health. Bad conflict habits take a toll on your body from stress and dissatisfaction when you hold your problems in or express them in destructive ways. These last two points are linked as well because there's abundant evidence that our relationships affect our health. And so when you have good conflict habits, and positive relationships, you're more likely to lead a happier, healthier, longer life. So conflict has a tremendous influence on our personal lives, our professional lives. The good fight matters. Thank you.